This video will cover disassembly of the Steyr Monlicker M95 carbine. This assembly requires a large and small flathead screwdriver and a small punch. As always, ensure the rifle is unloaded and safe by pulling the bolt back, visually and physically inspecting that the chamber is clear. First step in disassembly is going to take the bolt out, press the trigger forward and pull the bolt straight out. Next will be the front barrel band. This is held on with a single screw. With the screw removed, you can slide the barrel band and stacking swivel forward over the front sight post and off the rifle. Again with a single screw. Next will be the rear barrel band and front sling swivel. With the screw removed, this again slides forward over the front side post and off the rifle. With the barrel bands removed, the top handguard can be slid forward and up off the rifle. There are two screws on the magazine housing and trigger guard. The longer screw is in the rear with the shorter screw up front. With the two screws removed, the magazine housing and trigger guard pulls straight out. Once the magazine housing and trigger guard has been removed from the rifle, the receiver and barrel will lift straight out of the stock. The butt plate is attached with two large screws. To disassemble the magazine housing and trigger guard, there are two magazine housing cross screws. Removing the rear magazine housing cross screw allows the magazine catch and spring to be removed. The magazine catch spring is held on to the magazine catch with a single screw. Removal of the front magazine housing cross screw allows removal of the follower base and magazine housing filler.
the follower assembly retaining pin can be punched out of the follower base with the screwdriver. The follower assembly leaf spring is held on with a single screw. The follower arm has an additional spring on it, retained with a single screw. The follower can then be removed from the follower arm by removing the screw. Moving to the receiver, the C retaining pin can be punched out allowing the trigger and sear and ejector housing to be removed. The rear sight leaf assembly is removed by punching out the rear sight hinge pin with a small punch. Taking out the screw at the top of the rear sight allows removal of the rear sight slide. Finally, removal of the rear sight ferrule by taking out the rear sight ferrule screws. Thanks for watching. If you found this video interesting or useful, go ahead and give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to see more, like the bolt disassembly or something different, just leave a comment and let us know below.